government has decided that in the face of the latest surge of coronavirus that uh, team sports have to stop and but elite sports can carry on as normal and i think the government might have got that precisely the wrong way round now i'm kind of reluctant to criticize the government i you know i wouldn't want to be doing their job my only leadership experience was from running being captain of the Wallingham 4th 15 and we were the third worst side in Surrey. I could barely manage to get 15 players to be on the right pitch at the right time with their kit. So give me a cabinet to run and a, a civil service and a pandemic and I'd be having an aneurysm. Team sports uh, played by normal people is uh, generally quite good for your health and well-being. If it's played outdoors with no more than one man and a dog on the touchline, then the viruses and lurgies can probably find other ways to amuse themselves. Social distancing is fairly easy at the lower levels of the sport. When I was playing, it was rare for me to get within two metres of the opposition at any time. And I'm sure that nothing builds up your antibodies and resistance better than a 20 minutes in a post-match rugby communal bath. I'd happily take a syringe full of that elixir any day of the week. I'm really looking forward to playing rugby again. And when it starts, I want to play against people who've spent the last year sat on their sofa eating banana bread in their pyjamas. I want to play against the morbidly obese. So when you fall on them, it's like being on a bouncy castle. But elite sports, no, don't, just stop. With the vast crowds that they depend on and the huge entourage of physios and medics and massage uh, experts and PRs and everybody who hangs around the pitch, there's a perfect way to spread the next version of coronavirus when it comes. In normal sports, if you're lucky, there might be a bucket of cold water and a sponge on the touchline. We once played against an opposition who had someone on the touchline with a clipboard we had no idea what he was for. We thought he was from the council. Elite sport might be attractive to look at, but it's fundamentally unhealthy for the rest of us. The more elite sport is on the telly, the more time people spend on the sofa, turning into various root vegetables. Soon we'll be no good for anything apart from roasting and mashing. But the main reason I want to stop elite sports is not because of the way they spread diseases. Elite sports people, with their 24 hour, seven day a week coaching and training and sports sciencing and general pampering, and with their hum inhuman levels of fitness and dexterity and strength, are just too bloody good. And they just put the rest of us off. So what we need to do now is ban elite sport. They're all just showing off and they're so fit and healthy and brilliant, let's redeploy them to get us out of this pandemic. Make Marcus Rashford the government minister for feeding children. It'd be brilliant. Formula One racing drivers can all go and work for Hermes to get our deliveries to us a little bit faster and they can screech to a halt exactly on our doorstep. And those elite cyclists with their expertise at delivering perfectly legal drugs in exactly the right dosage can be put in charge of the new vaccines. Elite sports people have been training for this moment for decades. Now is their chance to shine. And whilst they're saving the world, the rest of us can go and have a kickabout with our mates.